Introducing a major development in the evolution of the AR platform tactical rifle, the new SIG 516 from Sig Sauer. Sig Sauer has transformed the high maintenance direct impingement operating system of conventional AR rifles into a revolutionary low maintenance, more reliable, self-cleaning, short stroke push rod gas operating system. The end result is an AR rifle that is more reliable, durable, and accurate. An AR rifle that can fire thousands of rounds without cleaning. The engineers at Sig Sauer have redesigned the AR-15 M4 type rifle from the ground up. The biggest advantage of the Sig 516 over conventional AR rifles is its unique new operating system. Unlike the standard AR-15 M4 type direct impingement operating system, there is no separate gas tube on the Sig 516. This unique feature eliminates carbon buildup and gas being directed into the receiver. On the SIG 516, when a cartridge is fired, gas propels the bullet out through the barrel. When the gas reaches the port in the barrel, it is expelled through a gas port via the SIG 516's adjustable gas valve. The gas bleeds off under the hand guards and never enters the action. Taking a closer look at the valve and pushrod assembly of the SIG 516, as the gas moves through the valve, it forces the pushrod to the rear until a gas port is exposed, allowing the gas to bleed off simultaneously while making contact with the bolt carrier. This pushes the bolt carrier assembly to the rear, unlocking the bolt. The primary difference between the direct impingement system on a standard AR-15 M4 type rifle, which you see at the top of the screen, and the SIG 516 short stroke pushrod system are as follows. In the direct impingement system, once the cartridge is fired, the gas moves through the barrel and comes back into the upper receiver via a separate gas tube. On the 516, the gas is bled off here through the gas port. The gas never enters into the upper receiver, eliminating the accumulation of carbon solids that build up from the high temperature gas condensing as it cools on the bolt face and in the receiver. Another unique feature of the SIG 516 operating system is in the design of the bolt carrier. On a standard AR-15 M4 type bolt carrier, there is a carrier key retained by two screws. You can see how the gas that travels down the gas tube is directed into the bolt assembly. Carbon residue builds up on the back of the bolt, ultimately causing a degradation in performance and accuracy. This also adds another cleaning point for the operator. On the SIG 516, the carrier key is integral with the bolt carrier, with no machine screws holding it in place, which on standard AR-15 M4 type bolt carriers can loosen, causing performance issues. With the bolt removed, you can also see that no gas or residue can enter through the key and get into the carrier or the bolt. Gone is the necessity to clean the bolt and carrier. With the 516, all that needs cleaning is the valve and push rod. In addition to the short stroke pushrod gas operating system, the SIG 516 features a number of unique design features. The SIG 516 features an enhanced bolt carrier, as seen on the right, compared with the standard AR-15 M4 type bolt carrier on the left. The rear of the SIG 516 bolt carrier has a larger outside diameter, with slots machined into the carrier to prevent it from canting in the receiver extension. A four-position adjustable gas valve allows you to make adjustments quickly and easily in the field without tools to compensate for varying operational and environmental conditions, ensuring optimal performance of the SIG 516 at all times. This allows the 516 to continue to fire even with carbon buildup on the valve. All the operator has to do is change settings to keep on firing should conditions require it. The four-position adjustable gas valve features normal, adverse, and two unique suppressor positions. Another feature of the SIG 516 is its proprietary barrel attachment system using a totally redesigned barrel nut. This eliminates the need to align the barrel nut with the piston or gas tube, which is necessary with a standard AR-15 M4 type rifle. 
This unique feature allows for consistent torque from barrel to barrel, which enhances performance of the rifle. The SIG 516 also features a new quad rail handguard locking system, which provides for a more stable platform for optics or other accessories that can be attached to an M1913 rail. You'll also find an ambidextrous magazine release and fire control safety selector for a much more user-friendly tactical rifle. Unique to the SIG 516 is a receiver tensioning device, which reduces play between the upper and lower receivers of the rifle. Even after firing thousands and thousands of rounds, the SIG 516 remains as reliable as it did after firing its first. The SIG 516 has been extensively field tested to perform under the most adverse conditions. The SIG 516 can fire mixed ammunition consistently and accurately thanks to its multiple gas valve settings. Equalized forces from the SIG 516 short-stroke pushrod gas operating system compensate for usual recoil forces found in a standard AR-15 M4 rifle. A 7075 T6 aircraft grade forged alloy lower receiver combined with a free-floating forearm and chrome-lined cold hammer forged barrel. gives the SIG 516 the ability to stand up to the harshest extremes. Another advantage of the SIG 516's closed operating system is the unmatched reliability it provides in a variety of harsh conditions. Notice that the muzzle is never blocked by any obstructions during this test.
Notice that the ejection port cover is left open so that water completely fills the bore in this complete submersion test. One advantage of the SIG 516 you'll appreciate is ease of field stripping, requiring no tools whatsoever. As with any firearm, put the rifle on safe and be sure it is unloaded. Pull the charging handle to the rear, locking the bolt to the rear. Visually check to inspect that the chamber is clear. Let the bolt go forward. Place the weapon on safe. The hammer has to be cocked to the rear to put the rifle on safe. Use a cartridge to push in the takedown pin from left to right. Then separate the receivers. Grasp the charging handle and pull to the rear. Pull the bolt carrier out, then remove the charging handle. Separate the receivers by taking out the pivot pin, pushing it from left to right. To strip the gas system, start by using your cartridge to push in the detent on the gas valve and rotate it counterclockwise. Unscrew the gas valve and remove it from the gas block. Tip the barrel to slide out the operating rod assembly. Field stripping the bolt is the same as for any AR-15 M4 platform rifle. Remove the firing pin retaining pin out of the left side of the bolt carrier. Remove the firing pin. Rotate the cam pin and remove it. And remove the bolt from the front of the carrier. After cleaning, start by reassembling the bolt and the carrier. First, insert the bolt into the carrier. Reinstall the cam pin, pulling the bolt forward. Drop the firing pin back down through the carrier and the bolt. Then reinstall the firing pin retaining pin from the left side to the right side. To reassemble the gas system, take the push rod assembly and slide it back into the gas block, making sure the flat surface of the push rod is facing downward. Once installed, make sure the push rod moves freely through the receiver. To install the gas valve, drop it back into the gas block, making sure it goes back into the push rod. Then start threading it into the gas block, rotating it clockwise. Once you hit the detent, use your cartridge to depress the plunger again, then rotate the valve completely in the rest of the way. Turn the valve all the way until it stops, then back it off to catch the first detent. Then check that the valve adjustment moves freely from position to position without any binding. The next step is to reinstall the bolt carrier assembly. First, slide the charging handle into the receiver until it drops into place. Then pull the bolt forward on the bolt carrier and insert into the upper receiver, pushing the entire assembly forward and lock it into place. The final step is to reassemble the receivers. You can also quickly and easily clean the gas system, something you cannot do with a direct impingement system. Simply remove the carbon from the valve and the pushrod assembly using a brush and solvent. Then make sure the valve slides back into the pushrod smoothly.
In addition to the short stroke pushrod gas operating system, the new 516 features a number of unique features and improvements. A free floating aluminum M1913 quad rail fore end, a free floating chrome lined cold hammer forged barrel with a wear resistant nitride finish for unmatched durability and corrosion resistance. The SIG 516 accepts standard M16 magazines. The SIG 516 comes in five different configurations for a variety of uses and situations. The SIG 516 PDW with its seven inch barrel, the 10 inch barreled SIG 516 CQB, the SIG 516 Tactical Patrol with a 14 and a half inch barrel, the SIG 516 Patrol with a 16 inch barrel, and the heavy barrel SIG 516 Precision Marksman. If you're looking for a true AR platform rifle that is more reliable, durable, and accurate than anything you've ever relied on before, look no further. The SIG 516 is your AR platform tactical rifle. The SIG 516, only from SIG Sauer.